Hello and welcome to Cozy Rosie Reviews from My Couch. Today I am doing a movie review on the movie The Lost Daughter, currently on Netflix and in select theaters. It is from director Maggie Gyllenhaal and it is her directorial debut. It's based on a book by Elena Ferrante. It stars Olivia Coleman from The Crown, Dakota Johnson from Fifty Shades, Peter Sarsgaard from Dope Sick, and Ed Harris from Westworld. It is a drama. In the movie, a woman's beach vacation takes a dark turn when she begins to confront the troubles of her past. Fun fact, Peter Sarsgaard is actually married to Maggie Gyllenhaal. The more you know. So this movie did not land for me. I think it tried to do too much and it just did not stick the landing. What I did like about it is that it went back and forth from present time to the past so you can understand what Olivia Coleman's character is doing and why she's doing certain things and her whole like mystery. And Dakota Johnson's performance was really good. I didn't know what to expect from her but I really liked her performance in this film. Now for my dislikes, didn't like that at the beginning they set it up so that something crazy happens so I'm waiting for something crazy to happen the entire time and nothing crazy actually happened. It had little notes of suspense so I was waiting for something to happen and it never did. So that was, that was kind of disappointing. I think the movie could have been really good. I haven't read the book. Maybe I should read the book and see how it differs, what was really translated, and what did not translate well. So for rating, I give The Lost Daughter a 2. Forgettable. Tried to do a meaningful motherhood type of thing, but it did not stick at all. It just tried to do too much. I think I would have appreciated it if it didn't try to do the suspense part and really just focus on this motherhood thing. The Lost Daughter, have you seen it? What did you think? Leave a comment down below and if you like my video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I do appreciate it. So until next time, friends. Bye.